what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm telling you guys how to choose the right hemi um, mods or hemi upgrades via ram just to be overall finding out the right parts for your truck and the best ones to be honest so i hope you guys are having a great friday hope you guys are having a great week so far and before I get into this, I want to say I appreciate those who definitely take the time out to sub to my channel. It definitely means a lot. So when it comes to modding your truck, your Ram 15, 1500 57, there's a lot of different mods out there that you could choose from, from different kind of price range. And there is a lot of mods that does different things to your truck and stuff. So, but there's only one thing whenever you're choosing a Whenever you're going with parts for your truck, you always want to go with great quality and um, something that's definitely going to not cost you later on down the line. So me, honestly, um, in order for you to find like the right mod for your truck, I'll say if you got a Ram 1500 to be specific, the 57 Hemi, do not ever try to, number one, go off of you trying to save money or go with one of them quick little do this quick one quick little mods that is like almost like the pedal com commander where it's telling you this when you install this and do this this is what's going to happen to your car instantly and it's always good to know one thing is what kind of performance you're trying to get out of your truck and what are you really planning on doing with your truck are you planning on um drag racing or you just want to have like a you want to have both pretty much so that's how i really look at it like and there's a bunch like mods when it comes like when it comes to parts car parts or not not just truck parts but car parts you want to go with something that's high quality so whenever i'm choosing like parts for my truck i always try to go with like a well-known brand something that a lot of something also something that strictly just for ram or mopar in general don't go with like an off-end brand where it's like something that's from ebay because i know ebay I, I don't you know i don't discriminate but i know for a fact ebay i myself i order parts from ebay before and sometimes i'll be honest they are not like the best parts so never try to order stuff from ebay secondhand unless it's it all depends on unless it's something that's not really gonna be going underneath you going you know in, your, in pretty much in your engine bay if it's some kind of little parts like interior parts and stuff like that yeah it's different but don't ever order like them cheap end parts and stuff always try to get it from like direct source go with something that you see a lot of ram 1500 you go um have and do your research with parts that pretty much like have good reviews and these are some of the things that me i'm honestly personally i really never did with my previous build I had in the past, which was, this was before I started doing YouTube and stuff like that. I really got into being a YouTuber. So I think I had the 2006 Dodge Ram where, you know, I was trying to, I was excited and I wanted to do a lot of things. So it add parts, I went with lift kit, tires. And here's the thing where I could speak from my experience because this is something I went through when it comes down to it, like the only thing I could really think like and look back on is I really rushed on a lot of parts because I really didn't do much of a research and I didn't even had, you know, I had a Procom lift on there, which is not a bad lift, but it's not one of the best top five best, honestly, in my personal opinion, because it does come with certain things that's not there with the lift kit. Because, you know, when you lift in a car, truck, whatever, you do got to have like most companion and stuff like that to where, you know, some things that if you don't have it, you're going to be able to tell the difference when you drive in your truck, lift it up. So I just felt like I could have took the time out, you know, look at my, um, look at like, you know, history with parts and try to find like the good parts for my truck that was really going to help. And within like a year, I think not even a year, but like two and a half, three years, like those, those, like the lift kit on there wasn't like, powder coated i think it was like kind of spray painted so, well not spray painted but like painted it wasn't like powder coated so it was kind of like 
if you scratch it or something like that, you if you're gonna see some kind of rust, rust, if you know like moisturizer stuff get on there. But I always tell myself this: always want to be able to share it with you guys. When you definitely take your time out, if you're gonna go with performing mods, try to go with the high end stuff instead of the cheap stuff, because the cheap stuff later on down the road could cost you more than what you're gonna pay for when it comes down to like you know expensive parts and stuff like that. So. These are just some of the things I want to share with you guys when it comes to, you know, picking the right mods for your Ram 5.7 Hemi and what to really expect and what to really look for. So definitely feel free to leave a comment. And um, if this is your first time on my channel, definitely subscribe to the channel, you know, follow my journey of my planned future build at a high that I have, I'm going to be having for my 2014 Dodge Ram 1500. And hope you guys definitely have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.